the first key is found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 everybody read the first four words please shout it as loud as you can first four words one two read this is the first law when God does not begin a thing it has failed in the beginning of anything is not knowledge in the beginning of anything is not skill in the beginning of anything is not connection in the beginning of anything is God I am Alpha Omega don't call me to join something you started if I do not begin it my commitment is not there I show you a powerful secret in the beginning of your business God in the beginning of your marriage God in the beginning of your exploits in the beginning of ministry this is a secret that has changed my life anything God does not start he will not back he has to start it as Alpha because when he starts it you will use his methods you will not use your method and call on him to back it later our proud world today thinks God is only useful for spiritual life when they want to do business they take God out when they want to do ministry they take God out love and relationship they take God out everything they take God out but I show you the first four words keep it there please media this is the first spiritual law that I want to show you tonight in the beginning of my life God in the beginning of my ministry not passion not desire not assignment consciousness God now the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see I don't see myself, I don't see my achievements. At the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that I see. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift our voice in praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. Let's sit down. In the beginning of my marriage, or my desire to marry, beauty, you are joking, you will pay for it. The beginning of my desire to marry a macho, handsome guy with a job with NMPC, you will pay for it eventually. In the beginning of my business, intelligence and a well-accredited mentorship, you have, you have failed already. The first secret to excelling in life is for God to not be a participant, but the alpha of all that you do. Don't call God to participate in an idea that you finish with yourself. You organized it, you chose your life partner, you chose how many children you will give birth to and you say, God, come and bless it. No, God does not work like that. You started your business. You chose your location by yourself. You even bought the first consignment. As soon as it arrived in Nigeria, you say, Lord, here it is. It's yours. It's not his own. You started your ministry, decided where the church will start. You already ordained pastors. You called members. You called everybody and you say, Lord, behold your, 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 your assembly. No, sir. The great know the secret to lifting. They don't move. Moses said, do not send us away from here. We cannot start this journey if your presence will not go with us. We are wasting our time. He didn't say if our weapons don't go with us. He didn't say if our gold. A man that had gold had weapons. Yet he's saying these things are mundane. God, if you will not go with me, please don't send me how shall they know that we're people that are separated 
and God says you got it my presence will go with you and I will give you rest the Bible says for with God all things for with God not for when you are moving and you say, okay, God, why are you leaving me? Oh, yeah, now come and hurry up and join. And then you say, God, come. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Lord, where are you? If you will not lead, I'm not going. I'm not going. Lord, if you will not lead me in ministry, I'm not going. Is it not written in your Bible that if the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he said i am the vine don't be confused we are together but you are the branches you are not the vine i am the vine you are connected to me but you are the branch he distributes it very clearly our dominion is shared dominion not dominion that is derived by our own strength it's a secret that i've worked with in my life my brothers and my sisters i have no business going where god is not going it is not my concern at all the pressures of life will push you to many things and places where god is not there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death what looks cheap now will be costly when you start paying for it when we're about to start this ministry haven't done everything by the spirit three days before koinonia would start we had done crusades. We had been in ministry for a while. But before Koinonia would start, I still went back for a retreat. God, please, one more time. Are you the one speaking? And are you still leading? I tell you the truth. If God said no, that would be the end of it. He must lead the way. When he leads the way, you will follow. Now, thanks be to God who causes us like a blind man how many of you have seen a blind man walking accurately it's not because he can see he's following a man who can see and the man will lead him many people do not know this dimension of god we start things by emotion and then we ask god to join when things begin to backfire and god says no 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 you're on your own start with god in your life and watch your life turn into a sign and a wonder no matter how bad it looks if god says i am there go 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 i remember years ago the things that we now walk in god said so and i said lord if you lead we're going on and look what god has done and look what he continues to do in the beginning god please return to the place of prioritizing god don't use god let him lead the way many of us only say yes to god if we said yes to it already you just say god just help me confirm no you must be flexible lord is this ministry your will i've been in it for 10 years but talk to me now if it is not you i'm closing it this night Many of us, our ego will not allow us to be that obedient. Is God speaking to us? In the beginning, God. Let God start your life. So whatever happens, you can say, God, please, I'm here. If God directs you and grants you approval and you get married to a wife, and that lady becomes barren two years three years you have a legal right to go to god with your wife stand with god and say lord you are the one that joined us all we came to you you gave us the right to choose but we returned it to you and we say we don't trust ourselves guide our decision and you guided us now the devil is bringing barrenness you put pressure on his integrity and he will have to arise If you call me and you are around maybe a bank somewhere and you say you don't have money and I say pick the bike and come and meet me 
you told me already you don't have money but i said you should come by the time you come and you cannot pay the bike who will pay for it i ask you to come i must take responsibility for your obedience you will always be afraid to go to god when he did not start with you what will you go and tell god now of course his mess is there but you cannot stand now and say oh god this wife you gave me mm -mm, mm -mm. you were at the beer parlor under the heavy and then on that day you drank unusually and it's from the standpoint of that drunkenness you made a destiny decision and now you have to pay for it of course god is a merciful god and he can restore but the truth is before the restoration comes you'll be paying for it until the word of the lord came the word tried him look at me please don't be too big to allow god start don't feel my ego is there i'm too intelligent let church not not make me a dull person i'm intelligent i went to school not destiny not destiny you must learn to step back and say oh god of heaven i declare before you sincerely there is nothing that i know moves god like a broken and a contrite heart let god find a man who is genuinely broken and contrite he will veto whatever is wrong and come a broken heart is a real invitation for his presence